Well, talking about editing and time of television, I mean, starting, I mean, I go you back more than me, I to two-inch days back in the late 60s. I mean, I would have made simple programmes like Play School, which is a 15-minute programme with perhaps two or three cut edits in it. So that's a, the way I started editing, going on to making a drama, say that's a 90 minute show and that would in those days, that would take two days. I mean, nowadays it would be a lot longer, but in those days it didn't, studio time was expensive. I mean, using one of these, I started using one of these in 1980, mid 80s, I guess, started using these on Ski Sunday when we had the little stories coming in. So you'd make 10 minutes a day, 12 minutes, yeah, 12 minutes a day was, was good making a story a broadcastable story. Um, That's good. Yeah. Doing a, a football match on a Wednesday night, you do the first half and that edit could be 25 minutes long. So you'd knock that out in an hour and a half um, because you had to, because mm. you had to get on the air. Mm. Um, so it was always needs must. You have to get, you have to make as much as the time you've got left. So you've only got the time up to transmission to get it done. So you've just got to cut your, cut your cloth, get on with it. If you've got time, you stop and twiddle about. But yeah, everything I did post 85 would have been on an edit controller. So I would have done thousands of hours of television on one of these things. Me not as much, no, no, not nearly as, not nearly as much as that, but I spent a lot of time in cutting rooms. I suppose the difference is with making documentaries. The, the first editor I ever worked with was a film editor, it was a wonderful editor called Charles Davis, and I still work with him actually. He. For him, editing was making movies and it was all about subplots and teases and telling the story and keeping the audience with you. So a lot of what I did in the cutting room was about that. And it was either using the commentary or the way that we shifted sequences around, put the end at the beginning and the beginning. So there was, it was a slightly different sort of editing. But that, I mean, I'm incredibly impressed about that. <laughs> Twelve and a half minutes, you know, is, is, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of work. That most of that came with, I mean, what you were alluding to earlier is actually log, what we call logging, which is looking at material. Now, a very good producer friend of mine, Graham Wellham, used to tell all his new trainees, if you're tired of logging, you're tired of life. Because if you did not log a football match and you did not know <laughs> where the salient points were, there is no way you could get it on the air. Yeah. So logging in sports department was fantastic. It was reams and reams of very, some people could do it shorthand, mm. but every single piece of, every goal kick, every foul was logged. And then as you go, star, star, three stars, goal. Yes. Right, that's got to go in, because if you muck it up, you look fairly silly with a 4-3 football mm. match if you've only got six yeah. goals in it. You do look really stupid and you're in big trouble. So logging, knowing what your material is, is absolutely crucial when it comes to making any sort of yeah. television, I think. And you wouldn't um, have had a life because you've been spending your whole life in a small dark room. Indeed, I did spend my life in a small dark room <laughs> for 40 years, yes.